everybody, it's Dizzy, and recently I had a subscriber ask if I'd ever done a video actually showing how I roll my hair into pen curls, and I realized that yes, I had, but it was really hard to find it. So I thought I would go ahead and do one video that was like the all-encompassing pen curl video so that I can reference this um, in all my future upcoming videos. So, um, pen curls have been used to style hair since, whew, like the 1920s or maybe even earlier, um, and can still be used to create modern hairstyles today. I tend to focus on hairstyles from the 40s and 50s, but um, there are two main types of pen curls, and I'm going to show you both of them today. The first one is the stand-up pen curl, which is exactly what it sounds like. It stands up. So what you do is you take a section of hair you'd wrap it around and then you'd pin it where it stood up off the top of your head. Now the great thing about this type of pen curl is it gives volume. In the 1940s it would have been used just through the top crown of the head and then the rest of the hair would have been set differently but it just gives some volume. In the 1950s styles you could do those stand-up pen curls all over and get a really fluffy kind of Marilyn Monroe-esque or Elizabeth Taylor kind of bob style. The other type of pen curl is the flat pen curl. So what that is, the flat pen curl is basically you take the hair, you wrap it into the curl, and then you pin it flat to the head. And that would give you a style with less volume and um, a more smooth appearance. And those were very popular, um, like I said, in the 40s to the sides of the hair. But also in the 1920s, you would wave the hair, and then when you got to the bottom of the wave, you would pen curl the ends to control them. So this is just water. I'm just getting my hair wet. I shampooed this morning and let it just kind of air dry. And as you can see, my hair is pretty short, and it also has a little bit of natural wave to it. So I'm just going to comb it out. I also have bangs right now coming about here, and I'm going to be blending those bangs into the rest of my style. I'm going to do a sort of 1940s inspired look because that way I can use both types of pen curls. So I'm going to make a traditional 1940s rectangle parting. What that means is I'm going to insert the comb here up from the eyebrow and part there, going back up from the brow and going back. And I'm going to be doing that. That's the whole top kind of crown of my head. Which, as you can see, makes a big rectangle. So I'm going to show you two ways to wrap stand-up pen curls. So the first is to take a section and the bigger you make the curl, the more um, loose it's going to be, the tighter and smaller you make the curl, the tighter it's going to be. So I've got my section, it's about, actually I'll go a little bit bigger than that because I like my curls a little bit bigger because my hair is so short. So this is going to depend on how thick your hair is. If you have a ton of hair, your section may need to be much smaller. Now my hair, like I said, is damp. I'm going to work with that just that first section. And I'm actually going to spritz it with a little bit of setting lotion just through the ends. And my setting lotion is just hair gel diluted with water. So I'm going to spray that section. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I'm going to divide that section in half. Hold it out straight up from the head. Wrap it around 
two fingers. And then just coil it down and pin that in place. The other thing you can do is you can get something like a hairbrush or a makeup brush. This is a makeup brush. See how it's got the end that tapers down? You can use that to help you wrap the stand up pin curls. So you just want to put the ends around the brush and then just roll it down and then slide it off. And that can help you. I just said it's gonna give me a tighter curl that I really want. So I'm just gonna do it with my fingers. And one of the reasons I did decide to make this video, even though a lot of people have made videos like this, is I feel like it's a little bit trickier when your hair is short. So I wanted to show that. So then, because this is the, I'm going to go ahead and secure that with a pen curl clip. I've got the little single prong ones. You can use double prong clips, you can use bobby pins, whatever works for you. And then I'm going to take my other half of my section. And do the same thing. Okay next row and as you can see my part is not absolutely perfectly to the center of my head and I did that because I pretty much always wear my hair off to the side over here so if you have more hair than me you can do three rows I'm just doing two because that's how much hair I have I'm gonna spray it with my setting lotion and the setting lotion is optional if you, you know, you can use more of it, you can use less of it, you can use mousse, you can use gel. Figuring out the setting lotion for your hair is like, it's another video entirely. It's a whole nother can of worms. But you just have to kind of experiment and find what works for you. So you want to make sure to tuck that end under. Now I'm getting to my short bangs, so I'm just going to blend my bangs into the sides so they kind of go off my face. If your bangs were shorter and you didn't want to blend them in, you could just put like a big Velcro roller or something just to give them some body and wear them more like Betty bangs or below dry them into straight bangs, whatever you want to do. They're your bangs. But that's what I'm doing with mine. I just want to take them off my face today. You see how when it's a little shorter, you've got to be a little bit more precise when you're rolling it down. It's just going to take practice. I'm sorry my lighting's a little funky. It's what I've got going on right now. It's sort of weird and overcast outside and it's early in the morning. So we're working with what we've got as always. And then I'm gonna take this last little section. That's my shortest layer of my bangs. And you see I'm barely able to wrap that around two fingers. So I'm going to modify my, my method a little here. Instead of going around two fingers, I'm just going to go around one. See, when you get these short hairs, you've got to just really kind of think about it. 
but it can be done. You could also, like I said, just roll your bangs onto a small roller or curl them with a curling iron if you wanted to. Whatever you want to do. Okay, so that is that. As you can see, it's not perfect. It's a little messy, but that's that's okay. Now I'm gonna make a part from ear, the top of my head to my ear. Get all this hair nice and wet. And I'm gonna show you guys some flat pen curls. And then I'll do the rest of my set, probably off camera. So we're gonna make a row going across. You see that? Got my row. I'm just gonna spritz it with a little bit of my setting motion through the ends. And I'm gonna do my first flat pin curl. Now the difference with these is I'm not pulling it up. I'm going down in a downward direction. And I'm gonna wrap towards my face. You don't have to. You can wrap away from your face. It really just depends on what you want effect-wise. I personally like my curls wrapped forward. So I'm doing the exact same thing as the stand-up one. But see, it's in a flat direction. And then I'm just going to pin that. So wrapping around my fingers, coiling it up, and pinning in place. And this hair is a little shorter. I just want to make sure that I'm incorporating all the hair. So I switch to a one finger. Get a little wetter. Don't be afraid to wet your hair. It's what's going to make it moldable. Do you see? See that little piece is going to kick out and that's okay. We'll just wrap a little tighter. And secure it in place. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my head. Everything is just gonna be more of these flat pen curls and you just keep doing it till you run out of hair. When I get to the back, I'm going to address a unique situation, which is what you do if your hair is too short to pen curl. So I'll be back in just a moment. Hi, I'm back. So I'm gonna show you how to do the back, I do the back of my hair. Um, this is a little tricky. The back is never as good as the front because you can't see it, but I'll show you. So I'm going to do a more 1940s look, like I said, which means here's the top of my hair. I'm going to drop down pretty low before I start my pin curls. I hope you guys can see any of this. Who knows? And I'm going to make these curls a little bigger. So you just have to kind of practice and do it by feel or two mirrors in your bathroom or however you can make this work. And as you can see, I've got practice and it still takes me some time. But for the 40s hairstyles, you wanted the crown pretty flat. So that's why I'm starting so low. If you were doing more of a 1950s hairstyle, you could go all the way to the top with your pen curls, or you could even do stand up pen curls all over like I talked about. That gives you this really cute fluffy kind of do. I love a good fluffy do.
But in the back, it's almost just, I'm almost just getting some wave in the back, but I don't really need like full on curly curl and we're just curling the ends. All right, so it's getting pretty short in the very back there. So there's two options. If your hair is naturally wavy, even curlier than mine, you can kind of fluff it out and just let it air dry, let it mellow, and then blend it into the hair. Or, see I just lost an end curl. You can also let it dry and curl it with a curling iron, or you can take tiny, tiny, tiny Velcro rollers and just put those in, which is the route I usually take. But do you see how these will just let you get that last bit of hair at the very bottom? Well, anyway, you guys have seen me brush hair out a million times. But there you go. I hope that this was helpful. I hope actually seeing the pen curl set being done maybe gave you guys a better idea of how to do it yourself. If you have any other um, questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment section. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.